HLS Show Me How, templatizing structured notes for OneNote in Microsoft Teams. Hi, I'm your host, Michael Giannotti, and I am an HLS, Healthcare and Life Sciences Technology Specialist for the Microsoft Corporation. So yesterday, I was at a customer site, and um, in this particular case, they're a hospice um, organization and they provide in-care, you know, hospice services for families who have a loved one uh, who's, you know, reaching end of life. And it's a, it's, it's a beautiful service. I know I went through this just this past year with my father and uh, with my mother-in-law. And they, they're very concerned about improving the care that they're providing. And they wanted to be able to streamline the processes help people to con you know, connect, collaborate, and coordinate in a much more efficient manner, all with the goal, as all healthcare professionals want to do, of improving, you know, we talk about improving patient outcome, in this case, improving the care for those, you know, who, who we're going to see, if they're seeing end of life. And so they wanted to make sure that one of the areas that they talked about was this idea of a handoff. And handoffs are very typical. I see them in hospitals. I see them with research teams as they hand off and, and they take various shapes and forms. But basically what we're talking about is as content, as a, you know, care, as the research, uh, whatever goes from one individual or group to another, having things documented in such a way that the continuity of work can be done. So in the case of hospice, we're talking about somebody goes in and they might have, let's say that one shift, and then they have a 5 p.m. handoff. And they wanted that they have to fill out some content and data, and it enables the next person coming in to know the status of the person, if there's any things that need follow-up, action items, et cetera, all that's there. The problem that we saw yesterday and that I typically see in many places is that it was a very laborious process. So without Microsoft Teams in, in their present system, what they would do, and the, these kind of notes are not a part of the EMR record, right? What they would do is fill out a templated Word document, which would then get attached and sent as an email. Then at the end of all the shifts, somebody had to take those uh, handoffs and compile them together. Again, a, time, a laborious process. Also, there wasn't a lot of insight into earlier shifts, right? You'd have to dig through emails, et cetera, to find them. So what I proposed was the use of Microsoft OneNote. With OneNote, we have the ability to take very rich notes. And I mean, right within OneNote, you can see here, we can do things like dictation. We can insert and go ahead and, you know, maybe uh, if we're talking about, you know, a wound, we could take a picture. If they had, in this case, they had tablets, so they could take a picture. They could use the drawing tools, tools to annotate it, call attention to pro potential problematic areas that might be there, right? And things that need to be dealt with, et cetera. So a very rich environment, even uh, take audio notes and allow them to talk and have somebody listen back. The beauty of it also in OneNote is because people are using Teams, it's available anytime, anywhere, any device in real time. So as they do this on their tablet or a PC, then it's available to other nurses immediately. They have a view into it. It's available to the, uh, you know, if there is a uh, nurse on call who's the managing nurse, you know, overseeing uh, other staff, that's out there, they have access. So if they need to make decisions, if they need to call in the doctor and the doctor has an immediate view. And because it's one note, we don't have to send them off separately. So for example, here I have patient X and let's say I want to go ahead and do, um, you know, I could do a handoff and I'll just say it's, uh, this is whoops, the 5 p.m. handoff and Today's date is 4 19. Whoops, 19. It's a long day today. 2019. There we go. Um, and we have all that data here. Now we the the issue is the one issue we saw was this. They have much of it needs to be structured. All right. Then there's free form, like the pictures, etc., that could be in here. But much of it needs to be structured. And in OneNote 2016, you could just say file save as template right? Or save the page as a template. So you could build out a whole structure. What I did was I took in this case, 
um, the handoff template and I, you know, I created this here and this could have just been named templates. Maybe we have a handoff template. Maybe there's several templates that they use, but we were just doing handoffs. So we kept it nice and simple, said template. And I took their actual uh, document and I pasted it in here, right? This word doc. So here's the contents down below. I certainly could just come in and say copy and then go to this particular one and paste it in there, right? And go ahead and say, let's, um, whoops, let's go ahead and paste. And there we go. And all the contents are there and they can start to fill it out. That's one way. Or let's make it a little simpler. It's now time for the 9 p.m. handoff. All they need to do, it's one stop. It's a template. Right click, copy, go to the patient, come down here and paste. There it is. And now we give it a new name, 9 p.m. handoff, the date for 19, 2019. And we essentially still have a template. We simply right click and copy. And then in that patient underneath, we go ahead and paste the template and then we can keep going. And you have an exact replica where you can go in, fill it out. And again, all that data is immediately available. Certainly if we're in a situation, maybe we have multiple types of reports that we have to fill out. We could have a series of templates. I simply put them here. You can drag and drop, you know, you can create new templates at any time and you know, as you can see, I can reorder things on the fly here um, so that if I want, I can create new, you know, template or just create them as pages. But it's a simple matter of coming in, create the template, somebody copies it, then they paste it, and then they go ahead and fill it out. That's it. So very quick process. Then there's no need to compile. The data is already here chronologically. Um, so that they can view it both by day and within any given day, the shifts there, it's available immediately to all pertinent parties involved. And it's lot, not lost in a big email thread where you may have other emails coming in. One stop shop, it's done, it's ready, and it's a much richer view. So that's how we can do handoff notes and others quickly and simply in Teams. So that was it, um, you know, structuring and templatizing within Teams uh, with OneNote. Certainly, you know, OneNote as it's being redone as a modern app, some of the features have we haven't seen come back yet. We look forward to those that do. Um, the templating one may not be there, but really if you look at setting up and just having the template or a series of templates at the top, it's as simple as copy and paste the template. You don't have to copy and paste the contents just the template and and reinstantiate it and you're rocking and rolling i mean it's easy right so one little extra step instead of saying new page and then picking the template instead we copy and paste the template and that's it and so we can create structured content within microsoft teams and and provide that template like like experience for capturing in this case handoffs which is pertinent again not just to hospice but to nurses on wards and other or and other things i've seen project managers that do handoffs there's all kinds of ones they all have different forms that they fill out but this can be done simply and easily and tracked in one note 
in Microsoft Teams. So I hope you found that helpful. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have questions and things that you would like to see done in Teams, in SharePoint, and other Air Microsoft Stream, ask. Myself and my colleagues are available. We're always at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. We look forward to hearing from you, taking your questions, and showing you how. So with that, this is Michael Gennati bidding you have a great day. Take care, and as always, ciao.